darling, it's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, the Couch Potatoes' favorite tomato. And I'm ripe and ready for a good time. <laughs> and believe me, as soon as this movie's over, I'm gonna go out and have one. Hmm, I wonder if the fleet's in. Like, man, guys have had their heads what chopped the... off the list. Oh, it must be my new neighbor, Bob Squat. I haven't met him yet. Hmm, I wonder what he does. Well, one way to find out. I'm sure he won't mind. Oh, 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 there he is. How'd you ever get me in that bed, anyway? I carried you in there and I sat on you till you fell asleep. Hmm, sounds like a competitor. By golly, how much I owe you? How about two bucks? Two bucks? That's twice what I charge. I'm gonna have to change my sign. But before I do, I've got some bad news for you, darling. My boss, Mr. Rhino, wants to show us the giant Gila monster. I don't mind looking at it as long as I don't have to touch it. Um, I think you can get words or something that way. Anyway, it's probably not as big as he says it is. Oh, here he comes right now. Uh, Mr. Rhino, do you really have a giant Gila monster? Yeah, a big one. Ooh, I heard it's so big you had to register it as a lethal weapon with the state police. The troopers were inclined to pass it off as shock or optical illusion. <laughs> I know what you mean. I get the same reaction myself all the time. I tell you, it is not easy being larger than life. Well, hold on tight. It's time to unveil the big one, the giant Gila monster. Oh, I just love it when the star of the movie gets blown to bits at the end. Because then you know you won't have to sit through a sequel. Boy, too bad they didn't do that with Rocky. And now I've got a special treat for you as we get up close and personal with Elvira. Hey, 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 that's a little too close and way too personal. Okay, okay, that's better. <laughs> I'll just pick a card at random from my up close and personal file. Dear Elvira, my name is Siggy. I'm a psychiatrist in Vienna. Every night I dream that you and I are on a big train barreling through a long, dark tunnel, smoking cigars and eating ice cream cones. We arrive at the Eiffel Tower where we do away with my father and run off with my mother. Hmm, I thought I was the only one who had that dream. But enough about me. Yeah, more than enough. What I'd like to know is who was the last person you slept, uh, dated? <laughs> oh, good question. Let's see if anyone in our studio audience knows. Johnny, what do they get if they have the right answer? Two free rides on my elephant in Bangkok, Siam. That is quite a prize, I tell you. I've ridden his elephant, and I couldn't sit down for a week. <laughs> okay, who was the last guy I uh, dated? Anybody? Elvis, one of the Everly. Bill Darnell, Kate Smith. Hey, hold on. Kate Smith and I were just good friends. No, my last date was none other than that singing heartthrob of the giant Gila monster, Chase Winston. You did it, Chase. Why didn't you say something? You didn't tell us. Well, I didn't know there was anything I'd want to admit to. Oh, yeah? Well, you weren't so hot yourself, Chase. You know, you can tell a lot about a man by the size of his banjo. And listen, gals, never go out with a guy whose idea of a good time is running over lizards with his hot rod. But just because I'm never going out with that jerk again, doesn't mean it's all over between you and me, darling. So whenever you want to get up close and personal, you know where to find me. Until next time, unpleasant dreams.
that vamp of camp, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, bringing you the best of the worst. Uh, or is it the worst of the best? Oh, nah, let's face it, it's the worst of the worst in schlockumentary films, Elvira's Midnight Madness. You'll feast your orbs on such sumptuous schlock as Roger Corman's Bucket of Blood, the infamous She-Demon, and the equally improbable Brain That Wouldn't Die. Not to mention these ghoulish goodies. I have told you the almost unbelievable related the unreal and showed it to be more than fact. Now I tell you a tale of the threshold people. So astounding that some of you may faint. This is a story of those in the twilight time. Once human, now monsters in a world between the living and the dead. Monsters to be pitied. Monsters to be despised. Yep, there's only two good things about this show. No, not those. They're fun and they're cheap, just like me. So stay glued as Rhino Home Video and me bring you lots more Midnight Madness. I can get killed around here. <laughs> <laughs> 